Hey friends, welcome to Hot News. Hope you're enjoying whatever day it is of the week that you're watching this, whether it be Tuesday or further in the future. I'm glad you're here with us. Anyways, let's talk about today's video sponsor, which is our website, UFD Deals, in case you're trying to save money on the internet for things that you might be thinking about buying. Obviously, we're gonna be talking about AMD Ryzen stuff in this video, but AMD has done a good job of dropping the prices on their previous generation chips, so you can check out UFD Deals if you're trying to save money on that, or anything else that you're trying to put in your computer, whether it be a motherboard, a monitor, a keyboard. I don't know why you would put those things in your computer, but you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, go to UFD.tech to check that out to save money. Everything's an affiliate link. You save money by just going to the website. We make money when you click it and buy stuff. It's a win-win situation. UFD.tech, link for that is in the video description. But let's start off with the hot news today, which is the fact that uh, a Ryzen 5 3600 review has dropped ahead of embargo. At least I think it's ahead of embargo. AMD doesn't have any review samples for me, so like I haven't signed an NDA, so I don't freaking know when the embargo is officially up. If I had to guess, it's gonna be on the 7th, but I don't, I don't know. I have reasons to doubt this one, um, but if we take a look, let's, let's talk about the good stuff first, which is the actual review. Everything looks really good about this CPU. The, uh, the multi-core Cinebench score is better than a 1700X. The single core score is better than a 2700X, nearly almost sort of matching a 9900K. It gets within about 15% or so, considering that this is a $200 chip and that's a $500 chip. It's a pretty amazing setup. And then if we look at the gaming benchmarks, what we see is that the Ryzen 5 3600 beats the 2700X in most instances, which a $280 current $280 chip versus a $200 chip. That is a huge improvement by AMD. However, uh, there are a few red flags here, but before I get to those, hold on. Uh, talking about like performance, they did it on an X470 because they don't have an X570. They did it with the stock cooler. Uh, they did it with the 2080 Ti to kind of eliminate CPU bottlenecks. So it looks like everything was pretty good there. But then uh, let me talk about why I'm skeptical. One, this is multiple weeks ahead of launch when nobody else has uh, any indication. Like there's some leaked benchmarks, but for there to be a full review out by this website is a little suspect. And then two, if you go to their website on El Chapuza's Informatica, uh, Informatico, and you look at the images that they have of the CPU, they're all blurred out, which is the weirdest thing. If they're violating NDA, then they shouldn't be publishing this in the first place because they're gonna get into legal trouble. And if that's the reason why they're not gonna post the full image, I get it. But honestly, it just looks like these CPUs are a bad Photoshop. And so like, I can't believe that they actually have the CPU or they're like obscuring it so AMD can't trace back the serial number to find out who gave it to them. I don't know, it looks like a bad Photoshop. It gives me pause. It's multiple weeks ahead of time. We usually don't see reviews drop like this. The only time that I can remember a review dropped ahead of time with AMD chips was back when Son of a Tech got the, I think the 2400G delivered by Amazon ahead of time. But this is way too early for that to be happening. So I'm skeptical about this. The performance seems really good. It doesn't seem too good to, uh, to be true considering the claims of 15% IPC improvement. But at the same time, I, I just, I have to cast a giant mountain of salts on this and say, I believe it if you want, but uh, I, it, maybe, maybe keep holding out hope. But either way, still don't pre-order. July 7th is the date that we know they're coming out, so hold on to that. But then let's talk about other leaks, this time by a motherboard vendor. Nothing to do with performance, just to do with a naming scheme of CPUs, or rather APUs, that have yet to be announced. Azrock's website accidentally dropped a few uh, hints as to what the next-gen uh, CPUs are gonna be called the Ryzen 3 Pro 20, 3200G, there's the Ryzen 3 3200GE, 3400GE, Athlon 300GE, 320GE, and then the Pro models of all of that. So ASRock making an oopsie, posting the fact that we're getting CPUs or at APUs that we kinda already knew we were getting. They're gonna be based on Zen Plus, so they're not as big of a deal, but it's all cool, it's Gucci. You can do that on older motherboards like X470 or B3450. They'll run just fine because it's Zen Plus. There's nothing, 
new come in there. But now let's talk about uh, Intel and their CPUs and more specifically Google's partnership with Intel when it comes to the Chromebooks because it appears that even though Ice Lake is supposed to be a pretty decent upgrade over the current setup of Coffee Lake Refresh, Google will be skipping them for their upcoming Chromebooks. Apparently this is due to the fact that they were expecting to get Comet Lake and not necessarily Ice Lake and they're a little peeved about that or it could be tied to the fact that Google isn't going to be releasing a new Slate tablet, um, which that's the next article, but whatever, it's, I'm gonna merge them together. It could be that Google's trying to reformulate what their like mid to high end production devices look like and the tablet and Chromebook set margin segment section of products is getting all reconfuddled. Maybe, I don't know, but Intel's not really looking too good on that front, but who cares? Cause uh, you know, they have the rest of the mobile market. And you know who Nvidia has as a market? Esports gamers, don't you remember the publish, publication that they did a little while ago saying, yo, the best graphics card you have gives you better frame rates. If you have a 20 ATI, you're gonna get a better KDA than if you had a 10 80 Ti. Excuse me, had to burp there. Not really mentioning the fact that people who are probably better at a game are more likely to spend more money on the system that allows them to play that game. You know, it has the correlation equaling causation is 100% true. You draw whatever ideas you want from whatever data you have. It's 2019, real life doesn't matter. Abstraction is king, make up whatever you want. Anyways, let's talk about Nvidia is joining Tencent in their esports technology alliance as their founding partner. So uh, Nvidia getting into the esports game in China in a big way, we'll see where this goes, but they're one of the far found founding partners of the esports alliance for Tencent's new stuff. But then let's talk about other new stuff, which is Raspberry Pi 4. My goodness, have you guys heard about this $35 computer? It's gonna wreck everything else that's kind of in the market. Um, if we're talking about a complete system, you get up to four gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM. It has uh, a quad core ARM Cortex processor, which is pretty good. But the best part about that is that it can now do H.265 and H.264 decoding in 4K at real time, which is marvelous. Then it also has things such as the gigabit ethernet, which it always had, but it was always limited by its USB 2.0 interface. And now it's actually on USB 3.0, so you can get actual uh, gigabit speeds. There's a lot of good stuff. Uh, it's also gonna have USB or Bluetooth 5.0 and potentially 802.11ac. It's gonna be amazing. $35 for the base model with one gigabytes of RAM, $55 for the four gigabyte flagship. But to prove that it is no slouch, the Raspberry Pi people, they actually launched the website for the, ras the new Raspberry Pi using a server cluster of eight or 18 of these uh, Raspberry Pi 4. So it's in a pretty neat setup. They apparently have 14 handling the PHP code execution, two server static files and two running memcache. So that's really cool. Cloudflare is apparently handling the brunt of the raw network traffic, but everything's being run on the Raspberry Pis, 18 of them. So even if you can't get it with super great single, you know, CPU performance, you can merge them together into this giant uh, Voltron looking thing with cables. It's the way to do it. Speaking of giant Voltron looking thing with cables, robot ducks apparently are the lightest hit in, uh, in places where you need to keep your rice patties free of weeds. Apparently ducks were used for this previously, but now there's a new robot duck that's kind of a Roomba uh, that's gonna be used for watery fields to get rid of weeds and to eat them up. And it's developed in collaboration with Nissan, you know, the, the car company, and it is it's just a cute little, little, little cute thing. It's a Roomba for water. But let's talk about other aquatic robots, which is scientists creating a lifelike robotic fish that has blood. It has synthetic blood. They're trying to simulate it actually uh, moving blood molecules throughout like a kind of rivulet system inside the robot. It's not really, you know, veins and arteries because it's not real, but they made a battery powered fish robot that has blood. This is crazy. What future are we living in? Welcome to the world of tomorrow. We're living in the future where Windows Terminal is now on the Microsoft Store. That was a good transition. It's available. It's still not in a full production mode. It's a very early preview, but in case you want Windows Terminal, go to the Windows Store. 
And then let's talk about uh, NVIDIA, because we had a video last week talking about how the Super was supposed to be announced on Friday, June 21st, but then WCCF Tech at the last second posted an update article being like, oh, no, 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 hold on. Shh, that's not true. Shh, July 2nd is when they're gonna announce everything. And then the 2060 and 2070 are gonna be on sale on the 9th, and then the 2080 is gonna be on sale on the 23rd. So take of that what you will. Everything's, the goalposts are just shifting around. Apparently, in video is like, the 21st is a terrible date. Brett's having his, you know, charity stream. We don't want to interfere with that and make it really awkward. You just, let's just, let's just move it to the, to the second. That's when we're going to announce things. Which, by the way, even though AMD is launching their stuff on July 7th, I finally looked at a calendar. That's a Sunday. This is going to be like the first major launch of computer hardware on a Sunday in ages. It's kind of weird. Why are you doing this, AMD? Nobody's going to go to the store on Sunday for me. And then let's talk about SpaceX with the Falcon Heavy rocket launch. They, uh, they actually did a brand new type of test trying to come in as hot as possible with the uh, center core booster coming in really fast, coming in four times as fast as a rifle bullet. And apparently it didn't work. Elon Musk said on Twitter that it had a 50-50 chance of working. It was the latter 50 where it crashed into the ocean and exploded. But it was a test. They were trying to see how fast it could potentially come in. And uh, it was a little too hot to handle. Speaking of too hot to handle, look at this picture of Squall. Oh yeah. Final Fantasy VIII Remaster. We've got some confirmation about exclusive PC features for the remaster. It's just cheats, Reese. There's a <laughs> you, you can enable uh, unlimited gill, unlimited items, or access to all items, abilities, special moves, and triple triad cards. So in case you like to cheat in Final Fantasy VIII video games like I do, this is gonna be perfect for you. Get it on the PC instead of on the other ones, because those other consoles suck. This is, this is console pleb territory, you can't cheat. Anyways, that's the end of hot news. Why don't you hit the like button? Why don't you? Now do it, thank you. All right, go check out UFD deals to save money on tech products if you're buying stuff. You know you want to do that, UFD.tech, link for that in the video description. Get subscribed, please. Please subscribe to this channel. We need more subscribers, please. We only have 20,000. What kind of paltry number is this? We get 20,000 views and 20,000 subscribers. We did, it's, it's, it, what, what is this? What is this 100% proportion we're dealing with? I'm Brett with the Hot News Channel. Love you too, bye.